how memes led to an insurrection. A president who understood the power of memes was able to send thousands of people into battle against democracy itself. By Joanne Donovan, Emily Dreyfus, and Brian Friedberg. Hello, everyone. My name is Swamp, and I am proud to present Meme Wars 2, Jan 6 Boogaloo. It was a meme war that had spilled into the streets of Washington, D.C. That day in January 2021. Meme wars are culture wars that have been accelerated and intensified by the infrastructure and incentives of the internet, which trades outrage and extremity as currency. Rewards speed and scale, flattens the experience of the world, eliminating patience, kindness, and understanding. They are launched online by people with an agenda, and when one is successful, it captures the attention of other people who feel that the memes line up with who they are, what they stand for, and whom or what they are against. A decade of meme wars has radicalized people, and a president who understood the power of meme wars was able to send a tweet that drafted thousands into a battle against democracy itself. Though the insurrection failed and Biden was inaugurated as president, the success of the online warfare that led to the insurrection is evidenced by the sheer fact that January 6th happened at all. Meme Wars aim to bring the energy of an online community into the real world. <laughs> yes, I am not kidding. That is word for word from this article from The Atlantic. I did not write or exaggerate any of that for that clip. <laughs> and apparently this whole article is just excerpts from this book that they wrote. <laughs> Meme Wars, the untold story of the online battles upending democracy in America. How far gone do you have to be <laughs> to do this entire project? Wow. The only good thing that came out of this entire production that they did for the book and the article was this awesome don't tread on me snake <laughs> with, with the sunglasses on. That, I'm, I'm using that now for everything. <laughs> We're storming the Capitol. It's a revolution. A woman who identified herself as Elizabeth from Knoxville, Tennessee, told a reporter outside the U.S. Capitol on January 6, 2021. She had a blue Trump flag slung across her neck like a cape. Police had just maced her in the face, she recounted through tears. As soon as this video of Elizabeth hit Twitter, it went viral. The insurrection she'd taken part in, a very real and coordinated attempt to thwart the democratic process, was also a surreal spectacle. Millions watched the chaos unfold in real time on broadcast TV and on social media. And Elizabeth was one of the minor characters. On Twitter and TikTok, she became fodder for internet jokes. People remixed the audio with autotune. Sleuths spun conspiracy theories. Maybe Elizabeth was a liar who hadn't really been maced. Maybe the insurrection was a hoax. Content was crafted to fit different political orientations and different platforms, and to delight or offend different audiences. In short, Elizabeth from Knoxville had been memed. Ma'am, what, what happened to you? I got me. Got me. And what happened? You were trying to go inside the Yeah, Capitol? I made like a foot inside and they pushed me out and they paced me. What's your, what's your name? Where are you from? My name is Elizabeth. I'm from Knoxville, Tennessee. And why did you want to go in? We're storming the Capitol. It's a revolution. Thank you. In the politics of the 21st century, political memes are some of the most powerful tools a person or group can use to spread their message. Memes like Make America Great Again helped bring Elizabeth to DC in the first place. 
as did memes like 1776, which people have been sharing as hashtags and chanting at rallies to indicate that this January day was, as Elizabeth had said, a revolution. <laughs> Amid the chaos, flags told the story. As Elizabeth cried into the camera, her fellow rioters walked into the frame carrying American flags, MAGA flags, Trump flags, and the familiar Gadsden flag. A yellow banner with a cold rattlesnake hissing the warning, don't tread on me. All of those were memes. <laughs> yeah, you know, American history, or what you thought was American history, 1776, the American flag, the Gadsden flag, all memes. <laughs> it's, it, they were memes. <laughs> it's, it's not real. What, wait, you thought America, like the founding of America was a real thing? <laughs> memes, my dude, memes. On January 6th, pundits and people across America and the globe were shocked by what they saw. How could this be happening? How had we gotten to this point? What the hell was going on in American society? As researchers studying media manipulation at Harvard University's Shorenstein Center on Media, Politics, and Public Policy, we were not surprised. The experts knew. Come on, guys. We'd spent all of 2020 tracking memes like the anti-Asian dog whistle, hashtag China virus. <laughs> which Trump championed as a way to deflect criticism about his handling of COVID and to position the pandemic as a sort of war against a geopolitical rival. We are far from alone. There is a wide community of internet researchers, journalists, and civil society organizers who watch memes and online fringe communities closely. For us, the events of that day were entirely foreseeable. They were tragic, but they were not unexpected. <laughs> Wait, they monitor the internet and memes? The next thing you know, you're gonna tell me that all of big tech is in cahoots with the government. I mean, yeah, of course. Don't we all know that we're on a list somewhere because of the memes we've shared? We've, we've been aware of this for a long time. Letting us know that you monitor the internet is not at all unexpected. As the meme experts over here, we, we are quite aware of that. The 2020 election illustrated that social media can be turned against US democracy when wielded by domestic political actors who understand how to use it to make their ideas go from the wires to the weeds. Trump was the first president to fully adopt meme wars as a campaign and governing strategy. He retweeted memes. Oh no. Amplified the voices of devoted meme warriors, adopted into his official campaign materials memes that had been workshopped on 4chan, <laughs> workshopped on 4chan, and frequently behaved as a general in the meme wars, a title some of his once most devout supporters, including his son Donald Jr., gave themselves. Oh, brother. At the end of his long speech from the Ellipse on the morning of January 6th, a speech filled with references to memes such as America First and China Virus. <laughs> God, these people. Trump told the assembled crowd to march to the Capitol. We fight, he declared. We fight like hell, and if you don't fight like hell, you're not going to have a country anymore. With that, Trump proved that memes can run real-life American politics and mobilize large groups of people to action. And when these people are fed a steady stream of violence, aggression, and fear, the results can nearly take down a nation. Now, as absurd... <laughs> as this entire article is. And make no mistake, it is absolutely absurd. <laughs> Workshopped on 4chan. <laughs> because yeah, that's that's what they're doing. It's it's a it's a very targeted campaign where we workshop ideas and <laughs> Have you ever been on 4chan? <laughs> anyway, as ridiculous as this article is, if you believe this, what is it that they're pushing for exactly? What, what, how do you fix this problem? I mean, I thought you would need F-15s to be able to take on the government. I mean, Biden has told us that several times, that your guns are useless. <laughs> you would need F-15s and tanks, but apparently memes. Apparently memes are more effective than any of those, which, I mean, to a degree I can agree with, right? I mean, the, the battle of ideas, but, what is the end goal of this? What are they trying to accomplish by writing such a ridiculous article as this and a ridiculous book as this? Obviously, internet censorship. 
That's the only conclusion, right? That you can draw from this. Because we have to protect ourselves, protect our nation. I mean, the, the nation, we almost lost everything. <laughs> we almost lost everything because of a couple frog memes and funny pictures of Donald Trump. Yeah. F*** these people. Anyway, my name is Swamp. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you're stoked after seeing the trailer for Meme Wars 2, Jan 6 Boogaloo. <laughs> hope you're stoked for that to come out. Make sure to like, share, subscribe. It's still September, so you could still get one of the four trucker hats. Trucker hat month still going on one more week. Check it out to support the channel. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment, letting me know how you shouldn't make jokes about this. I can't believe you. Our democracy almost died that day. It's, it, it's simply just called the insurrection now. You know, proper noun, the insurrection. There's only ever been one, and it was January 6th, and we almost lost it all. Everything we had worked for was almost destroyed because of Pepe the Frog and Donald Trump. This isn't a joke, all right? Delete your memes. Delete them now. <laughs> all right. I'll see you guys next time.